Once local emergency medical services have been activated, and if time permits, consider performing a more detailed neurological assessment. The information you gather can help the physician determine the initial course of treatment. Completing this examination on an injured person may also help to convince the person that a problem exists and that oxygen first aid is necessary. The information obtained during a neurological assessment can determine if the peripheral nervous system is affected. This information may help a physician localize the injured area or areas and can influence the types of in-hospital tests performed as well as treatment provided. Performing a neurological assessment should never interfere with providing essential first aid measures or the evacuation of a diver to professional medical care. However, as most diving injuries are not life-threatening and as there is frequently a delay before emergency medical services arrive, it is both appropriate and helpful to the care of the diver to perform this examination. Although there are multiple tests in the neurological assessment, they evaluate four functional areas, which include mental function, cranial nerves, motor function or strength, coordination and balance. When assessing mental function, the examination focuses on five key areas, level of alertness, memory, speech, arithmetic, and language comprehension. Many of these tests can be performed during your initial conversation. There are 12 pairs of nerves that emanate from the skull or cranium and are thus called cranial nerves. Their role is very important. From controlling facial muscles and eye movements to enabling special senses and balance to regulating heart rate and digestion. These nerves do a lot and thus testing their function can tell us a lot about the severity or region of neurological injury. Symptoms or signs of motor impairment present along a continuum with normal function at one end and paralysis at the other. Between these two extremes, one may note varying degrees of weakness or movement limitation. Such abnormalities can often be detected or confirmed by comparing one side of the body with the other. Although decompression illness can affect both sides of the body simultaneously, this is rare and indicates an injury affecting either the spinal cord or brain. Strokes are usually confined to the brain, and these effects almost always influence one side of the body. Any sign of weakness or paralysis, no matter how slight, should prompt you to seek immediate medical assistance and professional medical evaluation. Areas evaluated in the motor strength portion of the assessment include the muscle groups of the shoulders, arms, hands, hips, legs, and feet. The final section of the neurological examination evaluates coordination and balance. Coordination is evaluated using the finger-nose-finger -finger test. An easy way to assess balance is to see if the person can stand still with their feet together and eyes closed or walk in a straight line.